गुड मॉर्निंग ऑल दिस इज द फोर्टीन लेक्चर एंड टूडे आई डील विद द सिंप्लीफिकेशन ऑफ बोलन फंक्शन इन द लास्ट लेक्चर आई डिस्कस द बोलन एल्जेब्रा विद यू एंड आई टोल्ड यू सर्टेन बुलन पोस्टलेट्स और बुलन लॉज और सर्टेन बुलन थियरम्स हेयर सो टूडे आई एल सी द सिंप्लीफिकेशन ऑफ दिस आई एल प्रूफ वन ऑफ वन और टू ऑफ देम नाउ एज फार एज द प्रूफ इज कंसर्न दीज प्रूफ द प्रूफ ऑफ दीज थियरम्स कैन बी डन बाय बुलन फंक्शन इट सेल्फ फर्स्ट मैथड एंड सेकेंड वी कैन डू दिस बाय ट्रूथ टेबल वट इज द सेकेंड मैथड आई जस्ट डिस्कस ट्रूथ टेबल so first i'll prove some of them or i simplify some of these these boolean functions by these boolean postulates or boolean theorems or boolean laws only suppose i want to let's take a problem first let's treat it as a problem that suppose i say that i want to simplify this or i want to prove any one of this suppose i say i want to prove this one this theorem suppose i say prove that a plus b dot c is equal to a plus b dot a plus c this is the distributive law for and operation i say that prove that simply prove that this a dot b plus c is equal to we have done this a dot a plus b dot c is equal to a plus b dot a plus c a plus b dot c i'm sorry it should be like this a plus b dot c is equal to a plus b dot A plus C. This is what I am interested in. So let's take the left hand side of this. Simply, look at the solution. I take the left hand side of this. It is equal to A plus B dot C. Now, I can say this A is equal to A dot one. I can I say that this is equal to A dot one plus B dot C. Why? very important thing here is that you have to write the reason everywhere why because i know that a dot 1 is equal to a i am using all these boolean entities only a dot 1 is equal to a this is what i have applied here because i know this a dot 1 is equal to a now this one can be this b is missing here so i write here a dot i can say that this one is equal to 1 plus b plus b dot c and the reason here that this one i have written as 1 plus b is equal to 1 the reason here now i simply apply again the distributive law here it is a dot a plus ab rather a dot 1 plus a dot b plus b dot c i hope this is clear to you now this a dot 1 or i can say that this one i can say again it i can write this as 1 plus c a dot this one i am writing as 1 plus c plus a dot b plus b dot c why again because 1 plus c is equal to 1 this is the reason i have given here now next so this i can read again i expand this it is equal to a dot 1 a dot 1 and this one i am writing a, okay a dot 1 plus c is equal to a a dot 1 is a plus ac plus ab plus bc why because a dot 1 or 1 dot a a dot 1 is equal to a i have, I have skipped one step here A dot one is equal to A. Now, this A I can write this as A dot A plus A C plus A B plus B C. Why? Because this A dot A is equal to A here. This A I have written as A dot A. Now let's take common. It's simply I am taking common something from here. You can say although it's not common. Yes, it is common only. So it is A common from here. Student like this, you'll have a is common from this a is common, so you'll a plus c. 
a plus c plus i take b common from here so it is b is common and i can say that again if from here it is a and this is c a plus c and now again i say that this a plus c is common from here a plus c is common from here now i can say this will be a plus b and now i can write this as a plus b dot a plus c why because a dot b is equal to b dot a which is the commutative law we have already done this so this is how i proved this it is equal to right hand side so i proved this for example let's prove one more theorem suppose i say that i prove let's take this one a plus a bar b is equal to a plus b suppose i say next problem here i am writing this problem next problem i am writing here that you have to prove let's write one problem another problem prove that prove that a plus a bar b is equal to a plus b now look at the solution of this i write this a as a dot 1 a dot 1 plus a bar b this is the left hand side solution i am looking at the left hand side only a dot 1 and the reason is what that is since a dot 1 is equal to a this is what i have applied here now this b is missing so i can say that this is equal to a dot this one i write as 1 plus b this b this one i write as 1 plus b plus a bar b now this will be a dot 1 a dot 1 plus a dot b plus a bar b i open this bracket simply now a dot 1 is a dot 1 is simply a a plus a b plus a bar b please give this reason here that this a dot 1 why because this a dot 1 is equal to a a dot 1 is a this is the reason here now this a can be written down as this a if you see that this a can be written down as a dot a i write this as a dot a this a plus a b plus a bar b why because a dot a is equal to a this is the reason here this a i have written as a dot a now let's take something common from here you have this a i take this a common from here for example so you'll have a dot a is a only or it was not required actually at this stage I, I would have taken this only sorry it is plus here it is plus here a dot a plus a b plus a bar b this is a here and i take from here a common if you see i'll take a common from here leave this as a this is a only plus look at this common here b common from this here b is common you will have a plus a bar although this statement was not required a plus a bar so it will be a plus b dot 1 why because a plus a bar is equal to 1 so i have applied this factor is equal to 1 here and finally i can say that this is equal to a plus b why because b dot 1 is equal to 1 and this is your right hand side so what i have done here simply i replace this a by a by a plus 1 then i write this one as a plus b because b was missing from here and then I, I took everything common and i applied this rule and you will find the right hand side from here so there are certain you can prove these boolean law certain boolean theorems with the help of these boolean identities only or suppose i take that uh, let's take a problem here based on this boolean functions let's say suppose i say 
that simplify it's a problem I say simplify simplify let's take x y z plus x y z plus x y and z and I'll use one of these theorems let's say I put a barrier a barrier this and let's treat this way means complements x y bar z bar plus x bar y bar z bar plus x bar y bar z I say simplify this now look at this simplification means I have to reduce it to the minimized form this is what I'm interested in so let's see the problem given to me is x y bar z bar plus this is the solution plus x bar y bar z bar plus x bar y bar z now let's take something common from here if you look look at these two first two terms y bar and z bar is common so i can say this is y bar z bar of course it is dot here when nothing is written in between this by default it is a dot dot here remember that so you'll have this x from this term remaining term is x plus this is x bar and i leave this as it is x bar y bar z i hope this is clear to you now i can say that this is y bar z bar into 1 dot 1 why because x plus x bar is equal to 1 plus x bar plus x bar y bar z now this will be y bar z bar plus x bar y bar z this is as it is why because any function i know a dot 1 is equal to this a so assume this as a this complete function as a a dot 1 is equal to a plus this now from here let's see what is common from here if you see y bar is common from here y bar is common from here and i can say this will be z bar plus y bar z y bar z and i interchange these two i say this is y bar dot z bar plus z y bar i have applied the commutative law that is a dot b is equal to b dot a here now see observe this thing it is not still still this is not simplified i apply one more theorem here what i am applying here i apply a plus a bar b is equal to a plus b which i have just proved a plus a bar b is equal to a plus b if you see if i say that if this is a if i treat this term as a just see if i treat suppose i say that this is a i treat this term as a naturally this is a bar and suppose i say that this is b here if z bar is a then of course then a bar will be simply z so a plus a bar b is equal to a plus b i apply this a plus a bar b is equal to a plus b so you'll have this as z bar you'll have this term as z bar from here and uh, is it some mistake from the beginning x bar y bar z x bar y bar z i take y bar common from here it will be x bar z if i take y bar common from here this will be x bar into z x bar into z this is not this this is x bar into z please see here make a correction here i made a correction so this will be this is x bar y bar z bar into x bar from here if you see please cross check this once more so what i have done here till up to this point there was no problem i have taken common i have applied the simple rules the point was here only when i obtain this y i take y bar common from here this is z bar y bar is common x bar z so z bar in spite of writing x bar z i write as z into x z dot x bar and from here 
I apply this law, A absorptive law, A plus A bar B is equal to A plus B. This has been absorbed. A, this A bar is absorbed here. A plus A bar B is equal to A plus B. So it is A plus A bar B. It will be Y bar into Z bar plus X bar. I hope that this is clear to you. So this is how we can simplify the various Boolean functions by applying Boolean laws or Boolean identities. There are a number of problems based on this and more you practice, there is no certain rule for this, there is no certain pattern for this, the only thing is practice for this. Now the second type of rule, the second method to simplify this Boolean expression is by a truth table method as I told you. Let's discuss what do you mean by this truth table. Truth table, a table you know, table is nothing, it is simply a matrix of certain rows and columns. This is called a table. And suppose you have a boolean function of n variables. A boolean function of n variables. Suppose I say that you have two variables a and b. So a truth table is nothing, a table which is representing the all combination of these. That is a, b. a can attain only two values. 0 and 1. Similarly, B can attain only two values 0 and 1. So all possible combination, suppose I say two variables are A and B, the possible combination are either both are 0, A is 0, B is 1, A is 1, B is 0 and A is also 1 and B is also 1. So all possible combination, a table representing all the possible combination and whatever the Boolean function is here. Suppose I say Boolean function. It can be anything. It can be A dot B. It can be A plus B. Whatever is the function between A and B. So a truth table is a table which represents the all possible combination of the given inputs and the corresponding output to every input combination. It can be 1, 0, 1, 0, whatever it is. This is called a truth table. And remember that the number of these rows is always equal to 2 to the power n, where n is the number of inputs. For example, if it, it has two inputs, a and b, so the number of these rows will automatically be 2 to the power 2, that is 4. If 3, then 2 to the power 3, 6. So this is called your truth table. So let's see one problem by truth table verification. Suppose I say that I have to prove De Morgan law by truth table verification. I say prove that. Next problem. Prove that. Let's do De Morgan law. I have to prove A plus B whole bar whole complement is equal to A complement dot B complement by truth table. By truth table. This is my problem. So I have to prove this A plus B. It means there are two comp two inputs. I have A and B. A and B. I need these two tables. Just see how I frame this. A B means two inputs are there. So four input com four combinations are will be there. 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. This is called a truth table. Now I am interested in A bar, B bar. So I need A bar also. So if I have if I'll say what is the value of A bar, if I see the value of A bar from here. Value of A bar means complement of A. When A is 0, A bar will be 1. When A is 0, A bar will be 1. When A is 1, this will be 0. When this A is 1, this will be 0. Here A bar, corresponding value of A bar. Similarly, the corresponding value of B bar, A complement, I write it this way, B bar will be 1, 0, 1, 0. Now let's look at the left hand side of this. I am interested in A plus B. I am interested in A plus B. I know A plus B means this plus this. 0 plus 0 is 0. I know these Boolean postulates. 0 plus 1 is 1. Zero, 1 plus 0 is 1. And 1 plus 1 is 1. So this is A plus B. Next, I am interested in A plus B whole complement. So what is A plus B whole complement? A plus B whole complement. A plus B means complement of this. So complement of this 0 is 1. Complement of this 1 is 0. This is 0 and this is 0. Now, in the right hand side, I need A bar dot B bar. So this is A bar dot B bar. Dot of these two, fun these two variables here. I know that. Let's find out. A bar dot 
b bar a bar dot b bar so 1 dot 1 is 1 1 dot 0 is 0 0 dot 1 is 1 and 0 dot 0 is 0 0 dot 0 is 0 here now if you look at this if I name these columns suppose I say I name these columns as this is column 1 this is column 2 this is column 3 this is column 4 this is column 5 this is column 6 and this is column 7 c7 c1 c2 c3 c4 c5 c6 and c7 if you see that since this column 6 if you observe this column 6 look at this column 6 1 0 0 and 0 and look at this column 7 so from this column 6 and column 7 since I can say that column 6 is equal to column 7 and column 6 corresponds to a plus b whole bar so therefore I can say that a plus b whole complement is equal to column 7 represents a complement dot b complement and this is what I had to prove I have proved this with the help of truth table so there are two ways either by using boolean entities or boolean theorems or with the help of truth table I will continue with some more with some more problems in the next lecture so thanks for the time being